My father was the head of education, PhD, all that stuff. I go home and ask him, I said, why don't we learn about money in school? And he looked at me and said, because the government doesn't let us teach that subject. The government tells us what we can teach and what we can't teach. And I thought that was strange. And I said, but aren't we going to school to learn about money? He says, no, your job is to get a job. I said, but you get a job to earn money. He goes, no, you're supposed to just get a job. I went, no, 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 no. Isn't the purpose of a job to earn money? He goes, you're correct. I said, so why don't I just learn about money? I can skip the job part, you know? And he got flustered and he said, if you want to learn about money, why don't you ask your best friend's father about money? And I said, why? That's Mike. So I asked him. He says, because Mike's father is an entrepreneur. And I said, what, am, what are you? He says, I'm an employee. I'm a government employee. And I went, oh, what's the difference? He says, the difference is an entrepreneur must know about money or that they're no longer entrepreneurs. And he says, an employee doesn't have to know anything about money because the government will take care of them, the company will take care of them. So I'm a kid, I'm all confused. But I took my dad's advice and I trundled over to Mike's father's office and knocked on his door and I said, hey, I'm here, nine years old, teach me about money. He says, beat it, kid, you know. But that's where the story of Rich Dad, Poor Dad started. And finally, through persistence, my rich dad started teaching me about money on one condition. And that condition was he would never pay me. He says, the moment I pay you, you think like an employee. He says, that's the trap. Entrepreneurs work for free. And now I'm nine years old, my head's going cracking in half. He says, you never want a paycheck. You understand that, kid? I said, okay, I got it. And he says, well, how do I make money? He says, that's what entrepreneurs figure out. <laughs> you know, it's like, so how do I learn about money? So he would just break out a Monopoly game board. So I would work for free. I'd pick up cigarette butts and he had hotels and restaurants and I would clean and do menial tasks. And as I got older, I started getting into office work and marketing and accounting. And I was an apprentice basically, but I always worked for free. And he would teach me about money. But the way he taught me about money was playing Monopoly. And I finally, one day I got upset. I said, well, when are you gonna teach me about money? He says, what do you think we're doing? We're playing Monopoly. He goes, no, 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 no. What do you think we're doing? We're playing Monopoly. He says, what do you think we're doing? So I don't know. I'm teaching about money. And then that's why, you know, you have one green house. You know, he says, there's many formulas for great success in money. There's thousands of them. But one of the best ones is found on the game of Monopoly. It still is today. Four green houses, one red hotel. Mm-hmm. He said, what? He says, one of the greatest ways to acquire great wealth is playing Monopoly in real life. Four greenhouses, one red hotel. But is that all there is? He goes, that's it. And he says, what do you think I'm doing? And I went, I don't know. So then he took me out and he showed me his greenhouses. And 10 years later, when I was 19, I was now in school in New York, and I come back to Hawaii and Rich Dad had bought the biggest piece of land smack dab in the middle of Waikiki Beach. And when you go to Waikiki Beach today, you'll see the Hyatt Regency Hotel. That was his hotel. Just like the game of Monopoly. Just like the game of Monopoly. Acquired assets and they became bigger assets. He just kept what's called an assemblage because that property wasn't that big at the time. So he had to buy out all the small guys because Waikiki was a little dirt water little town. So he'd buy out this shop owner and buy that shop owner. And it took him a while, but he finally assembled this large piece of property. And then he, then he and Hyatt put up this giant hotel. Mm. You know, I just, and it just sold for $800 million. So that's how I learned about money. 